Well, we need to talk about the word cisgender. Now, up until about a few years ago, I don't believe many people ever actually heard of this word. And I was like, when I heard it, I was like, what, cisgender? What does that even really mean? And I believe if you was you was to actually ask the average everyday person out there, what does that mean? They probably do not know. Now, if you were to ask someone what uh, gender means and sex means, the average person that's not woke, they probably would actually give you a logical answer on that. But for some reason, guys, we're seeing these words uh, cisgender and the only people using that word is woke people and trans activists. They're the only people out there using that term. And that term to me is really, really offensive. I'm not a cisgender male. I am a male. That's just the way it is. Now, the votes, they use this term and this term is offensive to a whole bunch of people that just have common sense. And now, guys, that brings us to uh, Twitter. When Elon Musk bought the platform last year, how many months has it been? It's been a while now. But Elon Musk, he owns Twitter now. And what happened? The mainstream media freaked out. The alphabet activists, they freaked out. They're like, oh, my goodness, this is going to be the end of trans people. There's an uptick tick in, um, in uh, hatreds towards alphabet people and black people, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And it's not the case. But to them, you know, Elon Musk is public enemy number one. Now, this whole trans thing is on a whole new level here. In 2022. That are out there trying to actively go after children and transition them. This is dangerous stuff, folks. And there are laws being put in place, mainly red states, to actually protect children from this. And the activists, they're outraged, guys. But when it comes to Twitter now, Elon Musk, the buck stops with him. So let's get into this, guys, on the post millennial here. You see, Elon Musk says cis and cisgender are considered slurs on Twitter. He is putting a stop to this madness of this term. You know, it's equivalent to the N word, if you actually ask me. And of course, you know, you just can't go out there and say the N word. I find it offensive if anyone is to actually call me cis. Gender it's offensive. OK. But let's go ahead and dive into this article here. Cis and cisgender are now considered slurs on Twitter. Twitter CEO Elon Musk declared the word cis a derogatory term for a person who is not trans is now considered a slur on Twitter. Quote, repeated targeted harassment against any account will cause the harassing accounts to receive, at minimum, temporary suspensions, must said. The word cis or cisgender are considered slurs on this platform. Musk was replying to a tweet from a commentator, uh, James Esses, who said that he was harassed and called a name, called name after saying, called the name, I believe they just made a mistake there called the name after saying he didn't want to be called cis. Quote, yesterday, Esses wrote, after posting a tweet saying that I rejected the word cis and don't wish to be called it, I received a slew of messages from trans activists calling me sissy and telling me that I am cis whether I like it or not. Just imagine if the roles were reversed. Yeah. This is crazy right here, and I actually tried to look up the origins of um this whole entire thing, guys. And apparently um this person here, Dana DeFossey, this article is back from uh, 2023. She says that she coined the term cisgender 29 years ago. So this was just made up by a person. It's not a real word. Now, even here on Wikipedia, they even acknowledged that um that Dana DeFossey, who was a grad student back then, by the way, 
is the one that actually made up this word to refer to non-transgender people as cisgender. Yeah. A grad student. It wasn't even based in any type of science. This was just a word to demonize people that aren't trans. Amazing. Now, look at this here, guys. Elon Musk posted this yesterday, and I'm pretty sure the Wolfsters probably did not like this. He says, would be good to share with the LGBTIDGAFQ plus community. <laughs> oh, my goodness. And if you guys are listening, it actually has um, like the man and a woman like you would actually see on a restroom. And it says, thank a straight person today for your existence. Straight pride right there. Yeah. And then a reply here says, without straight people. We would have no future, literally. And Elon Musk posts laughing emojis. Now, I'm pretty sure the Wolts did not like that. But he's right about that. This whole trans ideology, man. I believe it's really, really gotten out of control. I really do. It's really, really gotten out of control, guys. It's a cult. It's a religion. But hey, if you actually... um. If your religious beliefs, you know, if you say, hey, I believe in Jesus, then they want to go after you. They want to demonize you. It's crazy. Uh, S's original tweet on the matter was a rejection of the term entirely. Quote, I formally and publicly declare that I reject the label of cis. I don't believe in gender ideology. I don't self identify as cis. Using this term made me feel unsafe and is demonstrative of your hatred towards me. Anyone who uses the term cis to describe me is a bigot. Now, since the term was actually invented in 1994, guess what? Nobody even knew what this term was for like a whole nother 10 years. And then at that, guys, nobody even used the word. I would say until. About two years ago or so. When I heard the word, I was like, cisgender. Um, I never learned this in school. Nobody actually ever. um, No teacher even acknowledged it. I've taken on science classes before. I've taken biology, that kind of thing. Nobody. Not one time. Not even into my 40s. Nobody actually heard of the word cis or cisgender. It is a word only used by the Wotes to demonize people that aren't trans. And I find that to be very, very offensive, you know. Man, the term signifies the creation of a new binary trans and cis and makes a judgment about non trans people. Many people who hold views critical of gender ideology, a.k.a. those who know that biological sex is uh, constant is a constant in reality, often reject the term as prerogative. Now, look here at what the person who invented this word actually did say. Quote, the word is a threat and they use a whole bunch of big words here. I mean, you couldn't just put it in layman's terms for the average person to actually understand what you're saying. But anyway, the word is a threat because it linguistically separates biological sets from socially constructed categories of woman and man. That gender is a social construction undermines heteronormativity, critical to defending patriarchal sex roles and procreation. It is not surprising that those who have garnered dominance and privilege from traditional gender roles feel threatened and compelled to lash out. Dana DeFossey wrote, man, <laughs> All this by saying it's not a slur. It's just a term for people who aren't trans. And if they don't like it, it's because they are uncomfortable undermining heteronormativity. Man, my goodness. Uh, Prior to Musk's uh, takeover of Twitter, it was against the terms of service to misgender, meaning to use a gender term for someone that referred to their biological sets and not their self-identified gender. Now, the thing is, man. When the communists are running Twitter, guys, 
How is it that if you're looking at me, you're looking at me, obviously I'm a man. And if you call me a he or him and I'm identifying as a she or her, how, how are you supposed to know that? How? This is why biological sex matters. This is why it matters, guys. I mean, it wouldn't make any sense for you to refer to, refer to me as a she when obviously I'm a male, I'm a he. It's a biological fact right there. But the communists over there at Twitter actually had a misgendering policy, guys. That is crazy. That is crazy, man. I mean, if we don't follow biology, we're going to destroy ourselves. We just are. That's just my thoughts on this. What do you guys think of this? Black and white network fans, let us know what you think about all this in the comments. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and we'll catch you next time. Thank you.